Hi guys, I've got a little mill update. Um, spent a few hours on this this morning, um, playing around. Uh, I've stripped and cleaned this micrometer dial because it wasn't holding it zero. Um, there was a few weird, someone's been in there basically. Um, there was a, a hole had been drilled and tapped for a grub screw. Um, I could tell by the fit and finish it weren't original. And there was a hole for a roll pin. The roll pin weren't engaging on anything. So anyway, I stripped it, cleaned it, put it back together, see how it worked. Engage the roll pin on the bush that sits on the spindle that's keyed and we now have this holding it zero How this basically works it isn't like a screw up type you pull this um, this collar back There's two circular racks and that is what allows you to set your zero So you cannot turn that until you pull this back with it's a two-handed job um, And you can sort of uh, thumb this wheel round to your zero um, this nut on the front just does the preload of the spindle that goes through and drives the table left and right um, So yeah, that one is now working. That's nice and smooth. It's all good. I've verified it with an edge finder It returns back to the same zero every time uh, This one I clipped stripped and cleaned the other day. Um, it was filthy um, This works conventionally with this lock ring that tightens but tightening that ring wasn't actually really producing a consistent result you're still losing your zero every now and again you'd only be a few fail and then you'd go a few fail the other way um there's two sort of belleville washers they're, they're kind of like belleville washers but they're like a jigsaw pattern they're like a square shape cut out like this um back to back and when i took them apart they were set up that they wouldn't be doing anything so anyway I've tried a few different ways today. I've found a way that works. This now holds it zero really nice. Again, I varied it, verified it with the edge finder. So uh, pretty pleased with that. I've just got to arrange the same washers in this, which I already stripped again the other day. And then that will hold it zero as well, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I've got out of buying a DRO straight away there um, because I can actually use my dials for, um, for um, drilling holes pretty precisely and that's holding it zero to within a thousandth every time um, so that's pretty good and uh, yeah what else have I got to say on this uh, I've, I'm just using the edge finder and a drill chuck at the minute I still haven't got any collets that do 8 or 10 mil which is a bit annoying um, I'm bidding on some ER collets with a 5 apes uh, drawbar thread which would just be handy because this is already five apes um but if we don't win them i'm just going to go out and buy a set um of vertex or bison or some summit quality like that um with a proper 40 international taper and a five ape whitworth thread form um so yeah that that's just a temporary mission it was only to verify that um Apart from that, I haven't really done anything else on it. I turned a few chips the other day. Um, I could do a change in the flat belt in the head. It's like a two inch wide stitched, uh, not stitched. It's a leather belt with like a staple um, joiner. So every time that joiner comes around to the front, you get a bit of a, a, a noise and a vibration associated with it. So if I can find a seamless two inch leather belt uh, or even polyester or canvas rubber in, Pregnated belt. Um, I think that'd really it'd quieten the machine down, and also it'd reduce any vibrations as well, which can only help your surface finish in my in my mind. Um, so yeah, I'd like to change that. I'd like to get a DRO on it um, at some point, but it's just um, as and when funds allow. Because I think a set of ER collets and the chuck is looking like it's a few hundred quid. Um, I don't know what precision they are. I could probably go for Chinese collets and that, but um, Taiwanese Vertec ones or Polish Bison ones would be pretty good. Um, so yeah, pretty pleased with that. I can now drill holes accurately at least. Um, I've got an arbor for a, for a chuck, so I'm gonna try and measure what size that is, order a, a chuck, and then I've got a proper arbor and a proper drill chuck and it's pretty it's pretty low profile as well so that'll be good um i need to get a new bit of key steel for this um for this one it's, it's actually got two different bits of key steel in it which is not right it should be one continuous length about an inch and a half long um and i need to get a new uh i need to make or 
older piece of steel for um, to replace that. But uh, I'm not doing any heavy turn uh, milling at the minute, so should be all right. Um, still need to change the oil, but uh, apart from that, it's working pretty good.